Recall that if we are given a function y equals f of u and u equals g of x, which are both differentiable functions, then the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x. We'll just read this as dy over dx equals dy over du times du over dx. So in diagram, again, if we want to find the derivative of y with respect to x, and y is a differentiable function of u, and u is a differentiable function of x, then dy over dx equals dy over du times du over dx. Extending this to functions in two variables, Again, if you are given z equals u of x and y, such that x equals f of rs and y equals g of rs. So, the diagram would look like this. Again, z is a function of x and y, and both x and y are functions of r and s. So, if we are asked to find the partial derivative of z with respect to r, it means that we have two paths to take. So, two paths, quote and unquote. So, this path, and this path. So for the first path, we have here the partial derivative of z with respect to x times the partial derivative of x with respect to r. Now for the second path, we will add the second path to this. So we have the partial derivative of z with respect to y times the partial derivative of y with respect to r. So this is the formula for the partial derivative of z with respect to r if we are given these functions. So similarly, if we are asked to find the partial derivative of z with respect to s, so these are the paths. So for the first path, we have the partial derivative of z with respect to x times the partial derivative of x with respect to s plus the partial derivative of z with respect to y times the partial derivative of y with respect to s. So here are the formulas that we have discussed in summary. Let's now go to an example. So example, we have here w to be 2xy cubed minus 3x squared z, where x is this one, y is this one, and z is this one. So we are asked to find the partial derivative of w with respect to r and with respect to s. So as we can see, w is a differentiable function of x, y, and z and x, y, and z are differentiable functions of r and s. So what would the diagram of w look like? It would look like this. So for the partial derivative of w with respect to r, we have three paths to take. So this path, this path, and this path. So for the partial derivative of w with respect to r, we have the partial derivative of w with respect to x times the partial derivative of x with respect to r plus the partial derivative of w with respect to y times the partial derivative of y with respect to r plus the partial derivative of w with respect to z times the partial derivative of z with respect to s. So going back to the example, if we are solving for dw over dr, so we have to follow this formula. So for the partial derivative of w with respect to x, so we will look at the equation for w. So 2xy cubed, the partial derivative of that with respect to x would be 2y cubed. For minus 3x squared z, so the partial derivative of this with respect to x would be so 3z, 3 and z are constants, and the partial derivative of x squared would be 2x. So 3z times 2x would be negative 6xz. Now, moving to the partial derivative of x with respect to r, so we would look at this equation. And for the first one, the partial derivative of 4r s squared with respect to r is 4s squared. Since 4 and s squared are since 4 and s squared are constants. So minus so the partial derivative of r squared s squared with respect to r would be 2 r s squared. 
since again s squared is a constant and the derivative of r squared is 2r. So plus the partial derivative of w with respect to y, we would look at this again. So if this one is a constant, so this would be 0. So the partial derivative of 2xy cubed with respect to y would be 6xy squared. So the partial derivative of y with respect to r, so we would look at this equation, s squared is a constant, so that would be 0. And the derivative of 2rs with respect to r is 2s plus. So the partial derivative of w with respect to z, so 2xy cubed is a constant. So the derivative of this with respect to z is negative 3x squared. And the partial derivative of z with respect to r, so we would look at this equation, s cubed is a constant, so that would be minus 0, so this would be 3r squared. So no need to simplify, this can be our final answer. So this is the partial derivative of w with respect to r. Now let us find the partial derivative of w with respect to s. So again, we have three paths to take. So this path, this path, and this path. So for the first path, we have the partial derivative of W with respect to x times the partial derivative of x with respect to s plus the partial derivative of W with respect to y times the partial derivative of y with respect to s plus the partial derivative of w with respect to z times the partial derivative of z with respect to s. So the partial derivative of w with respect to s would have an equation this. So let us start with the partial derivative of w with respect to x. So we have computed this earlier and this is equal to this one. Now for the partial derivative of x with respect to s, so we would look at this equation and 4 and r are constants and the derivative of s squared with respect to s is 2s. So we have 8rs minus, so r squared is a constant and the derivative of s squared again is 2s. So we have 2r squared s plus the partial derivative of w with respect to y. Again, we have computed that earlier. So that is 6x y squared times the derivative of y with respect to s. So let us look at this and 2rs becomes 2r and s squared becomes 2s plus. So the partial derivative of w with respect to z is equal to negative 3x squared and the partial derivative of z with respect to s. So r cubed becomes 0 and negative s cubed becomes negative 3s squared. Hello, Math Monday and Major. To check out more lecture videos, click here. And to supplement your learning, don't forget to answer the exercises which you can find in the description box below. Enjoy and stay safe.